Oh, hey guys, my bad, did it again. Today we are at Gladstone Provincial Park at the Texas Creek section here. Um, I'll show you. See, welcome to Texas Creek Park. Uh, so yeah, it is part of the Gladstone Provincial Park. Never been here before. So this is on Christina Lake. We're just on our way back from the Kootenays now and we're like, you know what, let's just go see what this Glass Gladstone Provincial Park's all about. Mm -hmm. And I've heard I've heard the name a lot of times, so it'd be nice to check out. I think there's a beach down here, so that's where we're gonna go. Okay, so this is Gladstone Park. That's Christina Lake, so obviously like the park is actually massive. So yeah, this is all parks of the Okanagan. I didn't realize they consider all this technically Okanagan you got shoe shop here you've got uh Similkameen Kootenays over this way the Nicola region over here oh, cool all right let's see what this is about so there's a big campground over here we drove down there thinking that's where we'd park but we're gonna just park at the beginning here if you're using just for days see all you know, the other sign you're allowed dogs here So this is apparently the dog friendly beach, but we just passed the lady saying like, oh, it's not really like a dog beach. It's just a beach where you're allowed dogs. So it's like, she's like, there'll be no problem getting your own spot. This is nice. Nice and sandy. Got a private spot there. Kind of want the sun though. It's a little bit, a little bit brisk out here today, but this is pretty sweet. Big logs to sit on. Ooh, that water's so clear. Is it warm? This is supposed to be one of the warmest, one of the warmest lakes in Canada. This and Osiris. <laughs> this early in the morning, it's not warm? So, warm. so I was reading up on why Christina Lake is one of the warmest lakes and they said there's hot springs that actually feed into the lake. It's, it lays on the uh, Kettle River fault line, they said. And that makes uh, hot springs pump into the lake. That's actually shockingly warm. I totally didn't expect that. Yeah, there's so many secluded spots here. Nice little coves you can grab and just stay for the day. Ooh, this is a nice big one. We're looking for sun. There's no sun, I guess, here. There's like one little patch there. You want to warm up there. I think it's just the wrong time of the day, right? The sun's coming from behind us. This is like the warmest oh, water I've ever felt. Yeah, I think we're going to stay here because that is a This is insane how warm this water is. And it's like early in the morning. Imagine later in the day. That's crazy. I love this lake now. <laughs> it's so nice. We should come here with the family. Yeah. Yeah, this is so glorious. We're actually trying to, we're actually, st I'm staying in the water just to keep warm. <laughs> Which is crazy. Probably gonna go swimming. You're going swimming? At least we got a little patch of sun here. left uh, Gladstone Provincial Park forgot to say goodbye there and on the way we found this uh, Boothman Oxbow Provincial Park 
and there's this is the trans canada trail so this trail right here goes all the way across canada i believe it's the longest hiking trail in the entire world uh so yeah right here this is where it begins or i think it begins over in where is it beaverdale um, no, oh, okay grand forks yeah and you're going that way east so uh yeah there's supposed to be a beach down here so we'll check that out let's go so some of the wildlife here where grasslands and wetlands meet so yeah it's kind of a there's a wetland over here and if, as you can see up there it's uh pretty much grassland slash desert so we'll walk straight through here trans canada trail that's yeah columbia and western rail trail there you have it boothman's oxbow provincial park here we go. So yeah, we're gonna be right on the Kettle River. And I'm gonna do my best to get drone shots, I believe. I should be able to. Yeah, it's not very windy. The last couple days I haven't been able to get drone shots because we've been high on these mountains and uh, I threw up my drone the one time and it was blowing around so I got a little scared. I was like, nope, not a chance. So there is a little bit of a jaunt down here. Not, not too much, I mean. Maybe you gotta walk a kilometer or two. We're probably like half a kilometer in. I don't think we're close to the river yet, so we'll see. Probably a couple K. Look at all these grasshoppers. An insane amount of grasshoppers here. One jumped in my shirt and wiggled around my breast area. Unbelievable. But yeah, we saw a bear and cougar signs back there like warning signs and then all this grass was laid down and stuff we're like oh fuck we're scared we're scared but i'm yelling hallelujah all right we made it to the beach and as far as we can see there's no water so far oh maybe right over there wow though huge beach but i'm guessing we gotta like trek over here to get to the water this is cool it's like a huge sand dune Yeah, you have to walk quite far across this sand. But that's hilarious, the river's still low. There we have it, we're at the river. Oh, it's probably cold compared to Christina Lake. <laughs> we were at Christina earlier, obviously. All right, so we found our spot. We're gonna have some coffee with our Cool little jet boil thing. And I'm gonna send the drone up right away here. All right guys, I wanted to fly the drone, went to do it. It said I needed an authorization. It was trying to take my phone number. I don't know what that means. I didn't want to give it. So I'm not gonna fly the drone, but it doesn't matter because look at where we are. You don't need to fly drones when you're in this kind of beautiful place. We're gonna cook. I mean, not cook, boil some water, for some coffee. About to test the water. Oh, oh, that ain't no Christina Lake there, that's for sure. But it's, it's not bad. splendid. It's really nice. All right, we got our jet boil ready to go. All right guys, today we're unboxing this cool item that came from the uh, Live Your Adventure Club that it, uh, Explore Magazine does. Um, so it's a monthly subscription. They send you a gear box. It has all kinds of hiking and camping survival gear. And this is a really cool item. It's super lightweight. And as you can see, it folds out. Boom, look how big, look how big it becomes. I know. Three that's cups maybe? Three cups, oh, that looks more like six cups. Really? I could be wrong though, I don't know. Does it say on there? No. Anyways, so they sent us this because we're going to be doing some uh, articles for them. And we're we're ambassadors for their gearbox, so first time we're trying it. Okay, we're putting the water in now.
And voila, like that, we got coffee on the beach. And that's how it's done. You guys have to get this setup. It's tremendous. Check out the gearbox at Explorer Magazine. Here you go. Oh, man, woo! <laughs> oh, it's so nice, it's so nice, it's so nice. So we're just standing here looking at the mountain. And then I clued in I clued into the fact that that's America. That's the good old US of A right there. Spokane. See that mountain behind those mountains? That's America. So like the border is basically on top of these mountains. I looked at the map, I was like, oh, crazy. We're freaking looking at America. We should go over that mountain and then be border jumpers. Oh, <gasps> yes. We tried to do that. We were gonna do it, we Casey. Yeah. Casey was gonna illegally immigrate. I wasn't gonna though. I was gonna stay here, but she's crazy. And I stopped her actually. I bagged, I got on my knees and bagged that. All right, guys. So, beautiful spot here at Boothman's Oxbow. Not a soul in sight. So beautiful. I would uh, highly recommend coming here. But we are going to take off soon. We've got a long drive ahead of us back to Vernon. And there's not much more to say here other than... Toodles, Mr. President.